Hey guys, and welcome to the episode of Team Mad Mark Fishing Adventures. Today, or I should say tonight, all we're doing is trying to chase some pike eels for bait. Well, when we're fishing for pike eels, any rod and reel is okay, but we all know, well, we're actually down here at Ray Bay, and we all know Ray Bay does hold some big cod, jack, and also shark, so we've got a little bit bigger gear just in case we do get that bycatch. I've just got a Team Mad Mullet wire trace and a nice chunk of mullet and of course unweighted yeah it's raining darling and all we're gonna do cast it out ratchet it on or bail or undo drag or depending on whether you're using overhead or spin and uh, put the rod down and, and wait for it to go off Under a, a pike eel. First one of the night. Not a bad size one by the, the feel of it. This one uh, is definitely over the meter mark by the, the feel of it. I know a lot of you out there might be thinking I've got a bit of excessive gear for chasing pike eels, but you never know what may come along. You know, a, a bull shark could could pick it up, a jack, a cod, you just don't know. Shouldn't be too far away now. I can see my leader start to come up. So my trace shouldn't be too much further. Doesn't like the light playing up a little bit. Yeah, it's a good, good pike eel, I reckon. By the feel of it. Yeah, yeah, she's a nice one. That's a better, that's a better pike eel. That's what we want. Now that's a uh, a good bait right there. As soon as that uh, pressure came off the line, the hook came out. That's why it goes to show you, you should always keep pressure on the line. And when dealing with these pike eels, the dentistry on these things is quite fierce. You always have to watch out for these teeth because uh, they can turn around and touch their own bodies. Well. Today we're going to do a cook or catch, but a little bit different scale. We're actually going to carve some, uh, we're still a bit alive, a bit of, bit of nerves going. Um, carve some uh, flesh off this pike eel and actually cook it under the bottom of the car on the way home. So, got a bit of uh, pepper, rock salt, a bit of lemon, a bit of elf oil. Let's see. These are very bony so it's going to cut a, a few slithers out of it you got a slipper? yeah uh, as you can see it's quite nice white meat one more off I'm just holding up for you. That's a good girl. Alright. We eat that? Yeah, we're gonna eat it. And the elf oil. Oh, slimy. Sorry, babe, getting all that eel slime over your salt. Oh, you wanna do this one? I do. You do this one. You press the button. A little bit more. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. A little bit more. More, Dallin. Good job. You want to squeeze the lemon? Yeah. There we go. Squeeze the lemon on here. Oh yeah. Oh, that, that's enough. 
That's enough. Good girl. I'll also drink some. You want to drink some? Yeah. Uh, that'll be quite yucky. Uh, oh, yeah. I'll Wrap him up. We'll go up to the car and we'll show you where we're going to put this eel to cook. Hey guys, so uh, we're just about to leave uh, Ruby Bay and head back over to uh, Logan. Um, we're going to find a nice nice spot to sit this eel, nice uh, area where it won't fall off and it's really close to the, to the exhaust, the extractors. So I reckon uh, just down here is going to be a good spot. It's really close to an extractor. Daddy. Yeah, darling. I'll get it in a sec. There we go. Hopefully she'll stay there. And uh, hopefully in half an hour we'll have some nice pike eel to try. Right. Home. Let's uh, see how this eel's cooked up. Pretty excited to see how it goes because if it she works, we'll be using it quite a bit in our uh, future episodes. Right. She's opened up a bit, so hopefully no oil or anything's got down into it. Ouch. Tree part's gonna be getting this out without dropping anything. I should have brought more elf foil. Right. Uh, she's a bit big ready, but she's all good. She's cooked. Actually, that's not bad. That's actually really nice. Eel, eh? Yeah, Joshy. What do you reckon? <laughs> it's actually not too bad. Pike eel, eh? Better than what I was expecting. Yeah, definitely. Uh, wouldn't wouldn't um it's quite a firm flesh i reckon that's like a about a six out of ten all right guys next time cheers and good luck